Hi there. Good day boys and girls. Welcome back to our English class. My name is Miss Rita and today I have invited a very special friend of mine to help us with today's topic. Please welcome Yolo. Ta-da! Hello boys and girls. My name is Yolo. Thank you very much Miss Rita for inviting me today. Thank you Yolo for willing to help me with today's lesson. My pleasure. So, what are we going to learn today? Before this, we learn to use the word half past, quarter past and quarter to to tell the time. We also learn how to ask for the time in many ways such as what is the time? Do you have the time? What time is it? Have you got the time? Have you got the right time? And what time do you make it? I hope you can remember them. For this lesson, we are going to learn that there is also another method of telling the time. Okay, boys and girls. We can say the hour and then the number of minutes. We say O but we don't say it as zero when we have the number of the minute. For example, when we see two hour and five minutes, we say it as two o five. And here it's 7:10. 7 is the hour and 10 is the minutes. It's 7:10. It's 8:20. It's 10:25. Okay, boys and girls, now we are going to see a special rule. If the number of minutes is not an exact multiple of 5, so here are the multiple of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Then, we say minutes past. Let me show you. So here it's 821. It's not 820 and it's not 825. It is between the two is 21. So in this special case, we have to say minutes pass. It's 21 minutes past 8. We do not say it's 21 past 8 like we saw before. If it is was 8.20, then yes, we can say it is 8.20 past 8. But since it's 21, we have to say minutes past. Okay, boys and girls, are you keeping up with me? Let's see another example. It's 6 minutes past 10. 6 minutes past 10. We do not say it's 6 past 10. That is incorrect. So, this is a special rule for when the number of minutes is between a multiple of 5. And we also have the second method of telling the time which we can say it's 8.21 and here we say it's 10.06.
Okay, now boys and girls, it's challenge time. Let's see whether you can tell me the time or not. Are you ready? The first one. Can you tell me what time is it? It's quarter past four. You are absolutely correct. It's quarter past four. Next one. What time is it? It's quarter past six. You are incredible, Yolo. It's quarter past six. Boys and girls, have you got it right? I know. You all are doing great at home. Next one. Let's see if you can answer this. What time is it? It's half past you are incredibly good, Yolo. It's half past three. Boys and girls, have you got it right? All right. Last one. What time is it? Hmm, I'm getting smart. It's half past 11. Outstanding, Yolo. Outstanding. It's half past 11. Boys and girls, how about you? I'm pretty sure you're doing well. Alright. If you look carefully here, then again, we have the word past for both of this. But we also have the word quarter. So, this is the special case for when the number of minutes is 15. So, when the number of minutes is 15, then we say quarter past. And here again, we have the word past. But this time, we also have the word half. So, we say half the number of minutes is 30, it's half past 3. We have a second method which we can use, it's 4.15, it's 6.15, it's 3.30 and the last one is, it's 11.30. Okay, let's carry on boys and girls. What time is it? It's 25 to 3. Very easy, isn't it boys and girls? Practice makes perfect. Try next one. What time is it? Yes, correct. It's 20 to 6. Next one. What time is it? It's 10 to 8. 
Oh, brilliant! Last one. What time is it? It's five to ten. Awesome, boys and girls. So, if you look here, in all of these, we have the words to. In this context, if means before. What I'm saying here, it is 20 minutes before 3 o'clock. So, we say the word to. It's 25 to 3. Because there is 25 minutes before 3 o'clock. And we also have the second method. We can say it's 2.35. It's 5.40. It's 7.50. It's 9.55. Again, we have the same rule. If the number of minutes is not an exact multiple of 5, 35, 40, 45, 50, or 55, then we say minutes 2. So we add the word minutes. Let's try out this quiz. Choose the correct answer. What time is it? The options are A. It's 7 minutes to 9 B. It's 7 to 9 is the correct answer yes you are absolutely correct the correct answer is a it's seven minutes to nine we do not say it's seven to nine that is incorrect we shall try another one that's the spirit boys and girls choose the correct answer 30 seconds, time on the buzzer. Here we go! What time is it? Oh my, you all are incredibly genius. The correct answer is B. It's 3 minutes to 11. We do not say it's 3 to 11. That's incorrect. So again, it is because the number of minutes is between 55 and 60 and the hour. So we add the word minutes before the word two and we can also say it's 853 
and we say it's 10 57 so boys and girls to summarize the summary for the telling the time in English using the first method that we learned at the top if the minutes are 12 we say a clock if the minutes are between 12 to 6 then we say past and if the minutes are on this side of the clock after half past and all the way up until the hour then we use the word till and there are three special cases here if the minutes are we are quarter then we say half past then we say quarter to so this is quite useful diagram for you next we are going to learn to use time of the day sometime if we say the time sometime if we say for example it is seven o'clock sometimes it is not clear if we are talking about seven o'clock in the morning or in the evening so we say to make it clear we say it it's seven o'clock in the morning we also say more specifically like it's 10 past 3 in the afternoon we say it's 7 o'clock in the evening we say it's half past 11 at night these are called time expressions you see I have highlighted in red to specify what time of the day it is. Yes, that's true. We say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night. We do not say in the night. We say at night. Okay, boys and girls? Sometimes we also see the letters AM and PM. Here is an example. Well, AM stands for antimeridium, which is Latin word, and it means before midday. We don't say the Latin word, we say the letter AM. It also means the time between midnight and midday. So, it's the morning basically and pm here stands for post meridian which is in latin pm means after midday but before midnight so it's the afternoon evening and the night until midnight if we want to use am or pm we must use the second method of telling the time. We must not use the first method. For example, if this is the time that we say, we say 7.05 a.m. We do not say 5 past 7 a.m because we are saying the word am if we say in the morning then five past seven is okay can be used but five past seven am is incorrect oh i see a little bit trickier yes yolo definitely we'll see next one 
we say 7.20 p.m. We do not say 20 past 7 p.m. It's incorrect. You just need to understand that a.m. four times after midnight and before midday. And p.m. is after midday but before midnight. Okay, boys and girls, how are you doing so far? I'm sure you all are keeping up with me. Next, we are going to touch on 24 hour clock. I'm sure you have already seen this, boys and girls. It is a different way of telling the time. It's a different system for the time. For example, 2138 here, this is the same as 9.38 p.m. Do you know that in England and in Great Britain, they do not use the 24-hour clock? They do not often use this system. It is very rare. Oh yes, YOLO, I've heard about it. You are totally correct. Normal people in everyday life do not use this. We only use 24-hour clock in timetables such like train time of arrival and departure or time of flights, arrival of departure. This, that is the only time we use 24-hour clock. And also in the military, they use the 24-hour clock because it is very precise. Okay, boys and girls, when we say the 24-hour clock, when we speak the 24-hour clock, we use the second method. For example, 2050, we say 2050. We do not say 10 to 21. Alright boys and girls, let's have a quick scan on what we have learned today before we go. I have two questions for you. If you know the answer, show your green color traffic light and if you are unsure of your answer, you may use red color traffic light. Shall we start? First question. If the long hand shows at 3, which is the right side of the clock, what will we say? I know the answer. We would say pass. Yes, you rock. So, in this case, the short hand is pointing at four. So, the answer is quarter past four. Second question. If the long hand is pointing at nine, which is at the left side of the clock, what will we say? I know the answer. We would say two plus one. Ingenious! Plus one here is for the shorthand pointing at four plus one is five. So the answer is a quarter to five. All right, we have come to the end of our lesson. I just want to say a huge thank you to YOLO for taking part and contributed throughout the lesson. It's my pleasure to help you out, Miss Rita. All right, boys and girls. That's all for today. I hope you have learned new things from this session. If you'd like to further discuss about this topic, you may join my online classroom. Here's the link. 
you watching. Have a nice day. Bye.